Breeding and raising pigs for meat or other animal products is known as pig farming. One of the livestock industry's most adaptable animals is the pig. They can be raised for meats such as ham, bacon, and pig. Pigs have been bred into a number of different sizes and forms to fulfill the needs of consumers all around the world since they were domesticated millennia ago. Some breeders are successful in producing pigs with higher feed conversion ratios. These farms are able to maximize productivity while lowering input thanks to the application of AI, artificial insemination. Hi, welcome to Adam's Farm Foods, comment below. Like and share the video with family and friends. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's continue. Pig farming is the practice of breeding and raising pigs for meat or other animal products. One of the livestock industry's most adaptable animals is the pig. They can be raised for meats such as ham, bacon, and pig. Pigs have been bred into a number of different sizes and forms to fulfill the needs of consumers all around the world since they were domesticated millennia ago. Some breeders are successful in producing pigs with higher feed conversion ratios. These farms are able to maximize productivity while lowering input thanks to the application of AI. Over the past few years, the pig farming sector has grown significantly worldwide. According to a 2017 study, there are already 64 million pigs in the world, and this number is projected to rise sharply in the next years. On industrial farms, more than 128 million pigs per year are anticipated to be farmed by 2025. The pig farming sector has a bright future. More people are searching for protein sources as a result of the growing world population. Pigs may provide a solution. Pig farming attracts a huge number of people because it's an easy and profitable way to take care of animals. It is the cattle sector's response to pet ownership. But before you begin a pig farming business, you need learn about the tools and materials required for this type of farming, including the building supplies for pens, feeders, waterers, heaters, and more. If you rear pigs for a living in a large-scale commercial setting, you must have the right equipment. Other types of pig farms, which are frequently set up outdoors or indoors in barns or sheds, occasionally with extensive straw bedding, require less care equipment. Pens, feeders, drinkers, containers for food scraps and excrement, and transport vehicles like lorries and trailers are among the tools used in pig farming. Feedstuffs like grains and vitamin supplements, along with medications and vaccines to treat or prevent diseases, make up the majority of the supplies needed. Laws and Regulations Regarding Pig Farming Business in Ghana Ghana's pig farming business is booming. Small-scale farmers are advised to invest in this form of business because it is thought to carry less risk. Pig farming is subject to strict laws and restrictions in Ghana, which differ from region to region. For instance, unless they are imported, most states forbid the killing of pigs and the sale of pork products. Pig farming is subject to a number of regulations, including where you may sell your pork products and what you can do with your dead pigs, transport them within the same region. Therefore, before establishing your firm, make sure you are aware of and comply with all local government rules and laws. Breeds of pigs to consider while setting up your farm. Breeding pigs requires a lot of time and effort. The following breeds are best for breeding. Landrace. Natural selection led to the development of the Landrace pig breed. The pigs shrunk and grew skinny when farmers started feeding their animals leftovers from slaughterhouses. These more compact pigs were ideal for city inhabitants who desired to have meat on hand but lacked the area to grow a pig. Yorkshire. The only breed of pig indigenous to Great Britain is the Yorkshire. They are renowned for having a slim build, which makes them manageable. The breed was initially created in West Yorkshire in the early 1800s, where small, traditional farms raised them to produce bacon and ham. When it comes to pricing comparison, they are believed to have one of the finest returns on investments (ROI). The Duroc. The Duroc can be your best option if you're seeking for a meat in addition to rapidly growing weight. Durocs are renowned for rapidly gaining lean muscular mass. Large White. Large White domestic pigs are a British breed. 
It is descended from the ancient Yorkshire breed from the northern English county of Yorkshire. A large, white pig with upright ears and a somewhat recessed face is known as the large white. The large white is one of the most common pig breeds and is frequently crossed with other breeds for global intensive pig farming. It was originally created as an outdoor breed, but it is now one of the breeds that commercial pig producers choose, giving pigs raised for meat on a big scale more consistency. Pigs need sufficient nutrition to grow and stay healthy. It aids in their speedier and continued health. Here are a few techniques to do that. 1. Pigs require an adequate supply of protein, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients in their diets. 2. Most crucial, pigs need to exercise daily for at least 2 hours. In order to prevent their muscles from becoming stiff, they also require an area that is large enough for them to turn around. The area they need to move around in should be larger the more pigs you have in one pen. 3. Feed hay and food to your pig 3 times every day. If you have a vegetable garden or fruit trees on your property that bear fruit for the pigs to consume at specific times of the year, they can also eat vegetables. The answer to this issue is rather complex because it varies from region to region and breed to breed. Additionally, it depends on whether you'll be selling your pigs live or whether you'll be butchering them yourself and selling the meat straight to customers. Pork has recently turned into a profitable business due to rising demand and falling production costs. The worth of a pig is determined not only by its meat but also by its ability to reproduce and, in some situations, by its sale price. Pig farming is becoming a potential industry thanks to rising demand and falling production costs. In light of this, pork is evaluated for more than just its meat, it is also bred for future generations. When deciding how much profit may be expected from one pig while raising pigs, the sale price of a pig may in some situations even be taken into account. Typically, when raising pigs, you must keep track of all your expenses and income in order to examine all the factors at play in the business. This log could cover the price of the infrastructure, the cost of piglets, feed, water, transportation, labor, and equipment. You can get an idea of how to reduce costs and streamline your operations from this record. The main benefit of artificial intelligence in pig farming is its capacity to correctly forecast lean hog prices in order to modify pig stocks. Since AI can watch production numbers, gauge feed consumption rates, and forecast future prices, it increases agricultural efficiency. Farms all across the world rear pigs for their meat. Although it is still in its infancy, the use of AI technology in pig farming has the potential to completely transform this sector. For instance, using AI to watch pigs' health and behavior is enabling farmers to gain fresh insights into how to raise healthier animals with less waste. Thank you for watching my videos. Like and share the video with family and friends. Please comment below. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my next video.